morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're most welcome to Viper Sports Club. We want to make this as brief as possible. We shall have the two, one, the two in one function. First, we shall unveil the technical team, new players, and those who have promoted from St. Mary's Chitende as well. And then we shall go to the last function, unveiling the new, is accompanied by the club chairman, Mr. George Mugidwa, is accompanied by the marketing director, Simon Sikanja. So the new season gets underway tomorrow for Viper Sports Club, in the Super 8 uh, tournament. So you're most welcome, Dr. Lawrence Mugidwa. Yeah, thank you so much, our peer. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to welcome you to this press conference, which is going to be very brief, as he has said. We have two functions in one, as he has said. We feel it is important uh, to unveil the technical bench, uh, which is under the technical committee headed by the technical development manager. And again, it's also important to unveil the new players whom we are going to use in this coming season, 2019-2020. And also to show you the players who have been promoted from our academy, St. Mary's Chitende Academy, majority of whom are in St. Mary's Chitende at the school. Then later on, we shall unveil the new mode of transport that we have acquired in the form of a coach that will be used by the team. We thought it was very important uh, to show you how far we have gone as part of our strategy to make our team more corporate, more professional, so that it can favorably compete with any team across the region, if not in Africa. So I don't want to waste a lot of time. <coughs> Let us start with the first exercise. We are going to invite the technical development manager to come forward and unveil the technical bench that we are going to use. Where are we? We had a coach in form of the head coach that was NAM, who was recruited on a nine term basis. He started around February of this year. We gave him six months, which expired on 20th, which expired on 17th of July. So the technical committee of Viper Sports Club made evaluation of the coach and advised the, the executive of Vipers Sports Club accordingly. The executive found it necessary that there was a need to have a new head of coaches of Vipers Sports Club. That's why we are having those changes which you might have had, which have taken place in Vipers Sports Club. So we have a new team, which I hope will take us through the season and other seasons to come. And that is what the TDM is going to show us now. You're welcome, Mr. Butindo. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We believe in working slowly, but sure. 
And that's what we have done. The team that I'm unveiling all to you officially, because they, you had your own teams in the paper, but uh, today we are announcing ours officially as Vipers Oscar. Uh, I want to start with the, the head coach of this technical team, is Gola Edward. Gola Edward is the new head coach. The assistant coach, one, Waswa Richard. Mr. Gola. And Edward Sadi is our trainer and also conditioning assistant coach. <coughs> and then the last person of the technical team is the physiotherapist of our team, that is Kasaga Matthews. That is our technical team that will take us for the next generations, maybe even very well. I think we'll have a photo moment with the technical team as well, the technical director and the president as well. The chairman and the marketing director. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back because it's ours. It's ours. It's Saint Mary's and it's also born and bred here at Vipers Sports Club. Okay. Uh, the next one is Rashid Toha, another central back that we have also acquired from the look. And Snag is not new, he's also one of our former students some time back. He had gone a while to your use, but now we have recovered him back. <laughs> <laughs> Another player is Tegeni Henry. Tegeni Henry. Henry, and we are very happy with the center striker. We have also acquired a dynamic young man from the most important tournament that we have of, of the Kari. Masada Cup, and we are welcome. He's a, a central striker as well. We have also acquired the, the following two, but unfortunately, or fortunately, they are already with the national team. They are with the Greens, who are preparing for the Saturday return game in Somalia. And the two players that were, that are the new players that were added to Vipers family. The other player is the Viper. He has been Vipers, but we had loaned him to express popularly known as Zaga. We have had to bring him back because we are on a project. We have had to bring back ours. And he's a great midfielder. Uh, I think those are the new players that we have added to from other friends of ours who have decided to allow us to St. Mary's. I think we are the largest academy that is in Uganda. St. Mary's. St. Mary's, we have, they are, they are, unfortunately, they are having the examinations. We cannot have them here right now. 
but I'll read their names so that you can, in the future, you can find out if, because they will be training at the later stage. They promoted, eh? They have been promoted from our academy. This number one has been Chigun Dennis, the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper has been promoted to the senior team. And the central defenders were promoted Amayo Ahmed and Okao Jacob, central defenders. And then the midfielders, we have promoted Watambala Abdul Karim to our, and Iga Najib. Iga Najib. We have also promoted strikers, Basangwa Richard, Sanga Richard. And we have brought other young midfielders who are still recalculating from injury, almost we are hunger. <coughs> so those are the new youth players that have been promoted. A group photo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the chairs again. <laughs> I just want to thank our technical development manager for taking us through that exercise. And I'm happy that this time around, the number of players who have been promoted from our academy to the senior team, because the future of Vipers Sports Club entirely depends on that. I want to reach a time when almost 90% of these prayers are coming from our academy. So I think uh, what you have started, Mr. Butindo and the other members of your committee and coaches, you are doing the right thing because that's what you want. You want to see progression of these players coming from the youth set up to the senior team. So when I listened and I heard over 80 names being read, then it gives me the, the hope that the future of Vipers Sports Club is very bright and it should continue with this program because I believe we have what it takes to prepare prayer. <coughs> we have the school, we have the accommodation for these prayers when they are still very young, 
we have the light coaches, we have the infrastructure, the playing fields are very many, there are more than six which they can use. So there's not an excuse that we cannot help these players to become fully fledged professional players. So continue with that trend, because I hope that's where the future of our club lies. I'll be very happy next year when I come back again and then you announce more, because I feel the talent is there. We need to nurture it and make sure that we guide it properly for the betterment of this nation, because that is what is lacking. We don't have well-established academies, so if you have a chance of having St. Mary's Chitende, which can provide what is required of a younger player, special education that can be provided, and the child is assured of accommodation and feeding, then I hope it's just a matter of time that we shall have the right players in the national team and other clubs, because we can as well export. We cannot absorb everybody who comes out of St. Mary's Academy, but we can also help other clubs in the big league, in the premier league, at the regional level, to ensure that we have that product which have been well modeled from the starting point. So I think that is a plus plus on your side, and I hope as management, we shall continue supporting you to ensure that uh, we achieve our objectives. Uh, I will request the, 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 the director marketing to say something, because when it comes to this function, I think, is entirely part of it, and it will be very important that it communicates to you. Vipers, looking at the infrastructure that has been put in place, um, the media has been very busy the last two weeks because we've been unveiling product after product and this function as well, um, we set to unveil more. I think this makes us a better club in this country that can be um, a, a, a good partner. If you can't partner with Vipers really, I mean, who else will give you the, the, the mileage that you want? So we really said uh, to give partners um, the best mileage that they can get. Um, looking at what we've said in this club, definitely the sky can only be the sky can only be the limit for us. So we call up members of the corporate world. The president talked about the road to making this club corporate. I think we're on the right track and we call upon everybody to come and partner with us. Our doors are open. We have different areas of partnership, ranging from the, 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 the shirt, the stadium, the, the media platforms, and name it all. So continue taking this gospel. We always want criticism, but to criticize us positively. Remember, we also have a brand to protect, and we also have sponsors that want to come on board. Thank you so much. If I don't thank uh, Madame Alice Namatobi, Namatobi, she is known in the marketing area. We have worked together before, when I was still in Copa Variety, and she played a very wide role. This time around, why I mentioned her name, we have seen one of the younger players who we are very here, the names of this. Miss. She has been there for that boy. Because that boy grew up when he was an, uh, an orphan. But uh, she has been there to ensure that uh, she gives guidance to that boy. Currently, she's a, the boy is a top scorer in Masaka. He plays for Sese. He's mm -hmm. a young man, 18 years of age, but very active. See a student was very active. That's why we, because our strategy also is to use those youth players and to see the skill. So I'm happy that uh, the 
fear of saying the fear gets right and recommend it to come to the right place where Okay, that's very good. Okay, another question, Ms. Kazi? Yes, Martin Kazi, my name. Uh, the last time President Gandhi the set on your prayers, you set a target and you had a tough face. You were always setting that tough target. This time around, smile face. <laughs> <laughs> Have you set a target for this interim technical team? And have you assessed the whole technical team away from the head coach? Then lastly, probably from the technical program manager. Uh, the signings, for example, are being given up to back row, mostly. The last two seasons we've had signings of right backs, like three in a row. Is that good move from the technical side? Okay. Last one. Elvis. Yeah, I think uh, the last question from Mr. Senon almost is similar to that of my brother mm -hmm. Emma. Is this the last signing? It is an ongoing process. The licensing process started and uh, is undergoing. What I can assure you that we always look for the best. We have the TDM, we have the coaches who are very professional. And their work is to advise the executive to look for the resources and then if they need any prayer, we may have it. But I feel, because we started the pre-season early enough and have been able to assess these prayers as early as June, we had already started training. I'm very sure that they're almost there. Because tomorrow we have a game, have a match against Borine. That means we have moved and the likely the prayer that they are going to use, they are part of the prayer that we are going to use in the Premier League. So we have almost completed the process. Other prayers, like the, the old prayers were here in the past season, we hope very soon to make a formal communication after they have completed as the technical team, after they have submitted their lists to the, to the executive for approval and then for further management. So once that one is done, then we shall be able to pronounce ourselves on which kind of prayers we are going to use, that one or that we are not going to use. Those ones, some of them whom we are not going to use, we have already communicated and they have already moved to other teams. But because of these contracts, some of them, there is the confidential clause. It's very unfair to come in the newspaper and say, I have suggested you, I have done this. The contract was confidential, so at times we protect these players. And then we give them a silent set off. Then they go to teams where they can go. It would be very unfair to say this one failed to defend, this one failed to score goals. We need them after leaving. There is life after Vipers. They can join another team. So we feel as, as in the Vipers, it's very unfair to come and make a press release and say so and so has been sent out. You know, we wish them the best so that they can go. No player may fail to perform in the Vipers and then goes to another team X and performs better. You know, even in Europe it happens. So we normally allow them that exit, especially during this season when they are looking for teams. Then maybe later on, toward the end of licensing, then we can pronounce ourselves and say we are going to these players and others have already joined this team and this team, which is something very good. So that's why at times we, we leave them like that one. Then 
as I said, it is a process still going on, but we believe we have the right people. And uh, uh, Mr. Kadu uh, said, described my face at this time. <laughs> it was a smiling face. It is also a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> so what I can assure you, uh, our coaches, they know, they know what is ahead of them and they are committed to the cause to ensure that they make Vipers Sports Club team number one in Uganda and outside Uganda. So they know the task ahead of them. And uh, I know they will be able to, to perform because the executive entrusted them with that noble job and I know they will be able to perform. Yes, Very good. In fact, when you, if you measure mathematically the confidence level, is above 95 percent, 0.95. Um, I know you may be describing a person like Coach Gorola, even to a certain extent, maybe Coach Richard Waswa, who have been with the youth program of Vipers including St. Mary's Chitende, we have been with them for all that years. Uh, Coach Gora has ever been assistant, and that time we just asked him when there was a virtue, because we also, as much as we want the senior Vipers Sports Club, that we give more attention to the academy, because the academy which makes Vipers Sports Club. And that's why when it comes to the academy itself, including St. Mary's Chitende, we normally give them the best coaches. I'll give you an example of Coach Waswa Richard. You know it very, you know very well that he was uh, the coach of the under-17 national team. But despite being the coach of under-17 national team, we don't bring him to the senior team because we felt we wanted a very experienced coach, a very knowledgeable coach when it comes to the youth. Because that's where they go wrong. If you don't have it right at that much your time, then you're not likely to have the best products when it comes to the senior team. So normally we are attached. Now, in the case of Coach Gora, we have always been bringing him whenever we have a guy, we have a virtue. And he would willingly accept very disciplined, because other coaches already would have gone to other teams, maybe in the Premier League. But because they have trust in the system, they know that this is a project which we are building. A project doesn't take five or ten years. It is a project that we started and a project that we have to finish. We have so many objectives that we want to achieve. And I'm happy that those people have lived with us. Over 15 years, we have been working together with Coach Gora and Coach Richard. But we felt that if we remove these coaches from the youth and put them in the senior team, we are going to have issues. Because we wanted to make a very strong foundation with our youth. So that by the time these players move out, the likes of the of the Mias and whoever, they came out, they had it. They have been part of these people. That, that's their program. The Waswa, the Rumara, whom we are seeing today, it is a product of these coaches when they were manning the, the academy of, of Vipers and St. Mary's. So Coach Gora always has been coming, but on an interim basis, just feel virtue as we are looking for for coaches to ensure that we move along, then he would be there, and he was aware. That's why we would not make a contract. He would come, say, willingly, he would say, let me feel that one, as we look for the right coach. You know, getting a coach is not easy. If you, you, you panic, you are likely to make mistakes. So he would always bring him, help for some months until when he gets out. Because already, we believed that by that time, we could not remove him from the youth, because we wanted somebody very strong, the likes of Gorilla, the likes of Waswa. So that's why you would see him three months, five months, then he would bring some. But this time around, it is on a permanent basis. 
and 100 percent they are responsible. The other time there is no way we would judge him. He has just come to help you, just to, to fill the gap. It is there. You have brought a coach, he has not done well. There is a virtue, must look for a coach three, five months, let us come and help. But this time around, they are given permanent contracts. And we expect the best out of them. That's why I trust. Over the years, I've studied them. I know they are strength and will be able to give us the best. They understand the program of our youth progression. It's very important. Now you have seen you have promoted so many players. And that's, what, that's the type of coach now whom we wanted, who can make a follow-up of these young players to ensure that we turn them into better people. And I wouldn't look any far apart from those people. Mm. Is, their contract is exceeding one year. <laughs> no, okay. exceeding, not interim. But it's not interim. He just said permanent. So it's not interim. Ah, no, 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 it's not interim. They are permanent coaches. Have you embraced some of the signings? He's there. Just talk to him. What's the question, please? What about Blash? So, in all whatever goes here, that's why you see I could read my names of my students. There are students here. I don't teach there, but I am the coach, the head coach in the electorate. Because what goes on there, it is these people, as he has told you. He has given you the history of this group. Waswa and the Gorora have been here for 15 years. For 15 years. There is coach Sadi. It's not mentioned, it's still in the youth team. And my president was <coughs> saying, now if you want this, would you break the youth structure? I said, no. The, these people, for us, we work as a, a team. They will still oversee what goes on there. So whatever we do, it's done in as a family, as a team. It's teamwork. So there's nobody who comes to Vipers whom I don't know about. And you regret some of the signings? <laughs> no, I don't regret because once you make once you make once you make a decision, don't 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 dwell on it. If it is bad, that is bad. But if it is good, it is good. Okay? In football, we, we believe in having your suitcase packed every day. Even the players, it is the same story. But for us here we have very clear objectives, and the players know where we want to go and where we are coming from. So there are no regrets. We don't regret anything. Okay. Thank you. It deserves more credit. No one does it better in this country than us. You've seen the talents that this institution has produced for almost every club. You talk about AFCON. 90% of the team that was there is a product of this institution. I mean, it's, it's a team. The president has talked about someone from says, a youth. Do you think he went there to, to get this boy? So this team really works so hard to identify talent and then we bring them here. It's not the team alone, as I said. It's a combination of so many scouts. We have scouts everywhere. You've seen it happening at St. Mary's Chiteng. We bring the best, the best talent and they've always delivered. So about saying poor boy recruiting and they don't perform, it happens everywhere. Even in Manchester, they recruit them and they don't perform. Probably they perform elsewhere. But as far as scouting is concerned, it is not the work of the president. This is, we should make this clear to the members of, of the place. It is a team. If he was doing it alone, there's no way he would have produced all this. I mean, he's a very busy man, you know him. Thank you so much. Yeah, but also, but because I've read in the newspaper and say, you know. <laughs> In Vipers, we have structures. We have the CEO, we have the TGM, we have the executive, and uh, different committees and departments that are responsible for managing football. You know, football is not like any other business. This is where people go wrong. Football is not like any other business. You open up an apartment, you have a shop in Chikubo, and you think things will just work and say, we have this, and things will bring results. No. It is a combined effort. 
The problem in Uganda, when a team is taking trophies, that one is very organized. You don't even look what is behind. If Vipers now takes the trophy today, the praise will be there. Oh, what a good president with his team. <laughs> now, when you don't take, ah, what a bad president. The problem is the president. My work is to look for resources. And uh, I don't stop doing this, because I've seen so many clubs in Uganda where the committees are elected, the president, the chairman. I don't think they take trophies year after year. So what you should understand that as Vipers, the directors who normally have sleepless nights to look for money from the, from the people who are supposed to, to sponsor different activities. We work as a team and we leave the, the technical to do their work. There is nobody who interferes in the selection of the team and nobody can deceive you. That's why all these coaches who have left, I think you have never had any statement which they are making, and they are free to make statements. You have, have had the whites, you have had the blacks. They just fail their work. You have targets, if they don't fulfill. But nobody has ever come out and say, like as I hear in other clubs, that you know, I have failed because the president comes in to tell me this and this. At least I'm, I'm beyond that kind of micro management. I'm beyond, I'm beyond. I've never been a president of a federation. I don't believe to myself so much. They do their work, I do my work. But one thing that you must be aware, me, I'm an achiever. I cannot look at things when they are going bad and I say, I'm a president. That is your work, technical development man. You do that one. I don't worry, you talk to your coaches, no. I believe in results and results must be there. Why? Because I inject in money. There's no stupid person, an investor, who does not want positive returns. So you have to look around and see who will give you the positive return. Okay? Just like someone who has established an apartment, we don't allow people who have come and then to spoil to do whatever you want in the apartment. You will come in the one and say, no, I think you are mismanaging this thing. There's a lot of noise at night, you are doing this and that, and you are sending out. So likewise, this is our investment. We have made a sacrifice, a lot of sacrifice, and we have put it there. So we are not just going to look around and say, now, nah, even if we are the 10th, there is no problem. No. We need results, and everybody is aware, and we are moving to And we are not doing badly. I don't know where people start to criticize. We are second. The other time, we are first. We are second. We are moving around with this one. What about these ones who are 10th, 11th, 9th, and they rotate around there? They only survive on the last day. <laughs> they don't take time to talk about them. They also have management, like us. So we are not doing badly. You were a champion the other time, and this time you, you don't be, you come now, but you're not very bad off. And the things are moving. Don't only rate the team by virtue of the position. What other things have been done in the past years compared to other clubs in the country? So we don't rate the team by virtue of the position that where it has been. There are so many other things. Are we dormant? Someone who was here three years ago, when he comes back, has he found the same things in terms of management, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of everything? So we are moving forward. The club is moving very fast. I've just told you we are going to an very bus. A coach, not, don't, shouldn't even be called a bus. It's a coach. Scania. Now. All those things are done. They are part of the growth of a team. It's not about winning game after game. No, there are other things which make a team professional one. So those things must be considered when they are rating. When it comes to rating now, if one knows how to rate a team, you will find that we are scoring very highly. And we are moving forward, and that's what we are doing. And we have worked with everybody here. It is a collective responsibility here, and everybody is aware of that one. So it's not a one man is show. Only bring me that I'm active. I'm not a passive partner. I'm not a quest partner. Very active partner in this struggle. Provided I still have energy, we shall always continue working with the team. But those ones say, you distance yourself from the management and leave it work. I have every department. I have the CEO. Me, I can even take a week without coming here. I have a lot of work. 
Mm. At school, at here, and outside other businesses, which I do. So I don't have time to come here and be at training and see which team are you bringing. You know, that's not my work. But when you are far away, that's what you may think. Because you have an active man. And me, I will be active. I don't want just to be called a, a president, a chairman, or whatever. When I'm doing a lot of nothing. No. I have to support my team. We work together. And we achieve. This is where we are. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I think let's go to the end of the bus.
A season ya bili kumina muenda bili ya bili Tujeteke kede bulu unji nyo Gatunuri ya department sezenja ulo Chituwa sose kwe kulaba anti technical bench ya fe Tujongera mwa amanyi Uluva njimaru ya chisera chituwa wa coach abadeo Na Michael Muna Kenya uh, Wichagwa konge na kuzo mwezi kumina msambu Wagwa July uh, Uluchiko ulukurembeze uh, Ngaluwa uluwa Olichiko uluwa tekniko. Tuwaso wala okulaba anti chari cheta agisa. Okuleta o coach. Ate coach aso wala kuteka mungkola. Ebilu yulua vya febi okulaba anti tutumbula abana abana abato. Okulaba anti baso wala okujo ininga timu ene nkuru. Tuwa gendo kuchizu la anti kuwa coach betuwa alina. Ilaba aliba sabi yo mulimu ogo. Nga coach Gorola Edward. Abade kutimu enyo. Abade kutimu ya abana ya akademe. Ya vipers. Ilani ya St. Mary's. Kwa la banga ya sali de mchisera chino Uwamu ne kochi Richard Waswa na hira abadewe nyo Netuwa uvuna njizuwa avo Ukubanti bivali kutekniko benchi ya fe Ngekuli uwa kochi Gorola uh, Edward Ngayambi wako Waswa Richard Uwamu ne wa kochi abadala abasato Ukuli oloya, ukuli nyakana Uwamu ne nesali Edward Binsu bilanti Badja kuwa tiladero mwini mwogo Basaburoku kukwala tuvenga tukile chilo uwa cha fe Chukula anti tusumu sabana Ababa wansi, basa uloku yingi na mtimu eno, tusokole dala ukubanti, tulina etafari ya dene yetueka kumpira kwa Uganda, ukubanti so uloku gena mumaso. Sonsu vila anti, tekniko benji yetu wajinyo yezeza, ilo minu mbaji tandikira oku, kuruna kuro mkaga, na wajikola bulu unji nyo. Kusaidi ya wazanyina utu wayongede, 
okusumuza abazanyi abazanyi munana okuva wansi mu team ya academy ya fena dalanga bava musomera send me is chitende abasobodo kwega taku team enene eno uh, team enkuru ya vipers owamu na abazanyi bitwazu denti basobolo kutongera ko uh, ku value bitulita abazanyi abalala basatu uh, bana bitusubira anti bajja kongera okongera amanyi nda mu rugoba olutebi mpozi ne makati yao nabo bensubira anti bajja kongera ku team bajja kubako che bajongera ko so kuluno nsubira anti technical na abazanyi tutto obude wa febunji nyo okulaba anti tufunya dala abantu abatufu nyo kwa bakochi babaddeo ne berondira abazanyi abo bibagala uh, kuva mwezi go mukaga ko chigola abadde na abazanyi abo iranga ali commenting ani gwayaga de nsubira anti kuluno team enyedde bulunji nyo yatu jja kongera okujitegeka tulabe anti esobola kuvuganya bulunji nyo mu chikopo cha Uganda Premier League <laughs> yeah, to solve the collector, I will go and get a mobile tambour. I have to find a bus. We try to find a motor car. Antono, my room to be ambitious. I have to say, is this the same thing? Is it changing? Net was good. Then to be too bad. I have to say, I'm going to try to catch a fish. I have to follow the vipers. Is it my team? Is it what they are doing? We have to go to Africa. 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 Uh, Twala bintu ne kigambo kye ntambula singa tuba tujongedde kone tuba we ntambula iyo mulembe nti kija kutusobeza team ino ko yongera ke kiso kanti impira nji banga jibadde wa wiru wa Uganda na twaga rogo kola Fredle now tuli cha ina buzibo gende Rwanda Tanzania obo Kenya kitwanguyira ati na abana bano benyini nyini buli babera mu environment nunje nnyo nayo kibongera okuloza ku mpira no kubanga basobola dero kola olu nsubira nti entambula ino kati eja tuyamba nnyo kuba isobola kuteka mu bako kibona uh, na hawa zanyo wanda nebabira o na hawa ntwa wale wawa bagenzi na wane tusoro okuwanga tufu na mpira watali uh, kusumbu yu wako na kona so entambula msi wantina kichongede kufali ya team wakujira kia danti edi professional uh, teno okuwanga soro kutukile vila 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 yo thank you guys I didn't talk about the bash the problem you may you may fail in out right what was there when I was organized and you only capture this small one I know <laughs> Huh? Yes, this is what is going to happen. You, you are lucky to live with the other one. I don't bring this small one. Yeah, you know. Yeah, by acquiring this kind of transport, I hope to go a long way in improving the, uh, the transportation of our players, our coaches, and everybody. Because uh, what makes a team, first of all, is time management. Once you have efficient transport, then you are able to manage the time properly, you are able to reach so many places because at times you would be invited for friendly games, say in Rwanda or Burundi, and because of transport, at times you could not make it, at times you could go by public means, which disorganizes the whole team. Now, by acquisition of such a, this kind of, of transport, where we have acquired a new coach, Scania make, then we can be able to do whatever it takes to improve the performance of the team and to make it more po professional and to make the whole Vipers uh, Sports Club Limited look more corporate so that it can compete with any team across the group.